And so it happened. I am officially broke right now. I have hundred pounds left on my business bank account and my Shopify dropshipping business is pretty much dead. Okay, so before we dive in and I'll explain to you exactly what happened with my business and how I went from making 300 to even $500 plus of profit every single day to now having to stop all of my ads and basically my Shopify dropshipping business is non-existing. I want to welcome every single one of you, especially those of you who are coming back to me every time I release the video. I absolutely love the support and all the comments. I'm trying to get back to every single one of you, so please keep them coming. Now, if you're new to this channel, my name is Jacob Wikowski and at the beginning of this year, 20 and 22, I decided to put the dropshipping business model into test. I wanted to see if it really is as simple, as easy and effortless to build a dropshipping business and make tons of money as all the YouTube dropshipping gurus make it look like. The first seven months of my journey was basically absolute disaster. I've lost over $18,000. And by the way, a lot of people recently have been telling me that they don't believe I've lost so much money. So stay tuned because I'm going to be releasing a next video where I will show you exactly all the receipts and all the costs and everything that happened. I've lost $18,000. I've lost tons of time and nothing worked for me. However, I'm, I'm definitely not blaming anyone for this entire journey because this led me to finding my first winning product in the middle of July. And the same product was making me between three to 500 and sometimes even close to a thousand dollars in profit every single day. You can go ahead and watch my previous videos from day one to see this entire journey. My point here is that dropshipping is definitely working and it's definitely a good business model that can pay you great salary, but it is not easy. There are some hardships and some hurdles that you need to overcome before you start seeing a success. And this video is one of the videos that is going to show you a tr those true hardships and the dark side of dropshipping. So let's dive in. Okay, so here's what happened. On the 16th of September, which was Thursday, I received a notification email from Shopify telling me that my account has been suspended, all of the payouts are on hold, and I need to get in touch with customer support team as soon as possible. Now, I wasn't surprised seeing this email because in the past two months, my business grew rapidly. We made over $75,000 in sales, and in fact, over this short two months period, I was able to recover all of the losses that I generated in the first seven and a half months of me starting dropshipping. So I knew that at some point, Shopify will need to verify my business. So if you could just show me your ID again, get your clearance. So I got in touch with them on the 16th and ask them what's the next step. They wanted me to upload a couple documents about the business, standard procedure. So I wasn't worried about it at all at this point. I still had a lot of money in the bank account from all the sales that we did. And basically I was absolutely fine with that. So I uploaded all the documents the same day on Thursday. I waited until the next Monday, which was basically the 19th of September before I actually wanted to get in touch with them again. I spoken to a guy named Justin. After checking my account, he can confirm that the higher verification team is still verifying my account and that there is nothing to be worried about. This is, this is regular procedure. So at this point, I was like, fair enough, it was weekend in between. So, you know, maybe they didn't have enough time to check my account, verify it. I wasn't that worried about it back then. So then on the 22nd of September, which was Thursday, so a week since the original ban, they did in fact release the restriction of my account. And this is when I received the first uh, payout. However, the payout was a lot, a lot smaller than I was expecting because I received two small payouts, one of 1,400 pounds and the other one, 1,000, almost 400 pounds as well. What I should have received is about $9,000 payout because I was put on hold for seven days. In my opinion, they should have add up everything that they would pay me out in, or in those days that I was put on hold and then pay it out all at once. They didn't do that. They only gave me a small payout on the 22nd and then I was supposed to get a huge payout again on the 27th, which was Monday. So I was like, okay, so I received a small payout on the 22nd and I need to wait until 27th to get the next payout 
one more time and this one was supposed to be the big one. I still have some money in my bank account, not a big deal. Now take into consideration that I had to wait 11 days for this big payout that was supposed to be paid out to me so that I could continue growing my business. Now, the 27th came in and I log in into my uh, Shopify account and I can see that my account has been put on restriction one more time. The day before they were meant to pay out the big sum of money. This is about $10,000. So I was like, okay, now that's suspicious. Like this is weird. I've been put on hold once. They verified my business. Everything was fine. They released the restriction, gave me a little bit of my money. And then they were meant to pay out the big chunk of my money. And the day before that, they put me on the restriction again. They put me on hold again. I was like, that's fishy. That's not right. So I, at this point, I decided to get in touch with them. So this was the 26th of September. This is when I got in touch with them. I said, my account has been put on hold again. Like what, what's happening? And what she said, this time it's not Shopify that put hold on my account, but it's Shopify's bank that put hold on my account. So I was like, how does that work? But okay, never mind. Maybe that's the part of the process. I'm new to this game. I don't know. So she said that it's going to take a couple of days for them to check the same documentations that I provided to Shopify and everything should go back to normal in the next couple of days. So I waited for two more days, 28th of September, still nothing. So I got in touch with them again. Bear in mind, the original ban happened on the 16th. Now, 28th of September, 12 days later, I'm still struggling to get my money. Now my bank account is getting really low. I'm getting a little bit worried. I have some money there so I can continue running ads, but it's getting dangerously low. So I got in touch with them again and said, Hey, what's happening? Like you check my account. I was already once banned. My chargeback rate is less than 0.22%. According to Shopify, if your chargeback rate is less than 1%, you're good to go. There's no worry. So my account is clearly in the green. Well, this chat, by the way, was for some reason interrupted. So for some reason, midway out when I was chatting with him, we lost connection. Nevertheless, he then followed up with an email saying that the team has got in touch with their bank and their bank said it should be resolved within the next three days. And if it's not resolved in the next three days, please chat back with us and we will look into it further. So I was like, okay, so the team got in touch with the bank when I was on the chat with him and the bank said, oh yeah, his account will be unlocked in the three days. Like that's, that doesn't sound right, but never, never mind. I gave them five more days. So I waited until the 3rd of uh, October, which I think it was Monday. I'm not sure. Yeah, it was Monday. So on the 3rd of October, I have contacted them again. And I spoke to someone named Susan and I said, Susan, my account was, has been put on hold the second time. I got in touch with you this many times. Last time you told me that it's going to take three more days. It's been five days now. My money is still not paid out. Now, bear in mind that from the original ban, which happened on the 16th, this has been now one, two, like almost two and a half weeks. Now, this is where I'm at the point where I have to switch off all of my ads, just try to resolve this situation because I'm at a critical point where obviously I made tons of sales in the past. So some of those past customers will come back, will want a refund, that, that happens, you know, it's part of the game. And then I will have to pay for Shopify fees, app fees, everything else. So, you know, the costs basically add up, but my money is shrinking. Now, Susan said that apparently on the 27th of September, Shopify has sent me an email with more information about this entire situation. I was like, okay, let's check it out. Maybe I missed the email. So I went ahead, I checked my inbox, my spam folder, like basically every single folder I have, including the bin in my email. And I did not see any email from them coming on the 27th of September with more explanations. So what she said is that she will get in touch with the team that has sent this email and they will resend it right now while we are chatting. So I was like, okay, that makes sense. Let's do that. She said, okay, Jakub, so this email should be resend here. Can you please check? The, this inbox, blah, blah, blah. So I checked the inbox and I was like, I didn't get that email again, which was very strange because 
I was receiving all the emails from like all my customers, all the notification emails from Shopify, including, you know, different changes that I made in the shop. So I know that emails from Shopify are coming into my inbox, including summary of all the chats that I had with previous support members. Those emails are coming through. Now, the only email that is not coming through is the email about my payouts and this entire issue. So I'm like, that's strange. Nevertheless, on that same email, she said, okay, let me get in touch with that team again and we will resend it one more time. So they tried to resend it two times. At this point, I still didn't get it. And I was like, okay, what's happening right here? Like, what is going on? At this point, this is very sketchy. Uh, again, the information is rather sketchy as you must have heard. So what she said is that she's not sure what's happening. She needs to get in touch with like an insider team, if you like, to see what is the next step. And then she told me that, it might take a little bit longer because the team is busy. So she will send me an email within the next hour explaining what's happening. But I said to her, what if I will not receive your email? Because clearly I'm not receiving your emails, guys. And she was like, yeah, that's a good point. What I want you to do then is to come back to this chat in about one hour or so and see if we resolved this issue and if we have more information. So I was like, this is getting ridiculous, but okay, never mind. I just want to get this sorted. So I waited for one hour, um, or little, actually even a little bit more than one hour, and I got in touch with them again. This time I have spoken to a different customer support member, someone named Wyatt, and I had to explain the entire situation again. What? Who are you again? Which was very, it's very frustrating. Now, this guy said that the, apparently the team is still looking into this issue. They are very busy and I need to give it a couple more hours. So, okay then, that's what I did. I waited another couple of hours and decided to get in touch with them again the same day. This time I have spoken to Raimund. Again, one more time, I had to explain the entire situation. I told him to look into my past tickets, support tickets to I understand the entire situation. Raimund said that, no worries, Jacob. Our team is looking into your issue and it will be resolved very soon. Then basically there's nothing else he can do and nothing else I can do other than wait. I was like, but this was the end of the day pretty much. So I was like, I can't be dealing with this right now. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. So I waited for the next day. This was 4th of September. So it's getting close to three weeks of me not getting any payouts. And bear in mind, it added up to 15,215 pounds, which is close to $17,500 that they are keeping for the past three weeks. And I can't do anything. Okay. So I got in touch with them again. I've spoken to Vena and Vena said that she can see that the team is now right now working on fixing this issue and it's going to be resolved soon. One more time, the same story. I asked her nicely this time because with Raymond, I got a little bit frustrated, but this time I was well rested. I said, okay, how long is, do you think this is going to take? She can't tell. It's hard to put time frame on those kind of situations. The next day, which is basically today, this is 11.30 a.m. in the UK, still no emails, still no explanation. I have no idea what is happening. It's Wednesday today, so tomorrow will be exactly 21 days since they have put this hold on my account, holding $17,500 of my money, and I cannot do anything at this point. What's the moral, moral of this entire story? A couple of weeks ago, I recorded a video saying that PayPal was withholding seven and a half thousand of my money and that I will no longer use PayPal because Shopify payments are working pretty much instantly so I don't have to wait for my money. That was the biggest mistake I could have done in this business. I'm still learning, but you can learn from my mistakes. Here's the thing. If I continued using PayPal, I would have diversified all of the sales income in my business. So probably 50% of the money would go to Shopify payments, 50% would go through PayPal. So just like when PayPal blocked me, I still had some portion of money coming in from Shopify so I could continue running my business. So if I had used PayPal right now, I probably would have a small chunk of money coming into me 
from PayPal while I'm still waiting for Shopify to figure out what is going on. That was a bad business decision on my end, but you leave, you learn. So I'll know that in the future, I will use PayPal as well. I need to diversify no matter what. That's it for this video, guys. I'll keep you updated on what happened. If you enjoy videos like this, true, real, uncat, no BS content about dropshipping, showing you exactly how this journey looks, then make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up and leave your comment down below. So far, I have responded to pretty much every single comment in this channel and almost every single message that I receive on Instagram or in my Discord server, which by the way, you can join by clicking on the link in the description of this video. So stay tuned guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.